Hi everyone and welcome to the lessons on the IELTS listening section. This section and the lessons will look at the IELTS listening section in more detail in terms of the different types of questions you will get and how to answer each type as well as tips and tricks and also run-throughs of the IELTS listening practice papers. So let's get started. For the IELTS listening section you will have 30 minutes to listen to four audio recordings and answer 40 questions. Now, if you're taking the IELTS on paper, you will get an additional 10 minutes to transfer your answers from the question paper to your answer sheet. Why this is, is because while you're listening to the audio, the answers come one after the other. So it's better to write what you hear on your question paper rather than directly onto your answer sheet. And that's what the 10 minute transfer time is for. This time is only for transferring your answers and nothing else. Now, on to the assessment criteria. You will receive one mark for each correct answer. As there are 40 questions, your marks will be out of 40. The second criteria is the raw score that is out of 40 will translate to a band score. So as we can see, the table on the right shows us that. A score of 39 out of 40 or 40 out of 40 would translate to a band score of 9. Remember that the IELTS is scored using band scores between 1 to 9. Let's move on to the parts of the listening section. As I've mentioned before, there are four parts. During part one, you will hear a conversation between two people. The conversation will be set in an everyday social context. For example, booking a train, two people deciding what time to watch a movie, etc. Part two will be a monologue, that is one person speaking. The topic will be of general interest. For part three, you will hear a conversation between three or more people about something to do with college or university. And last but not least, part four, which is said to be the most difficult part, where you will hear one person speaking about a topic related to academics. All right, now that we've covered the main points of the IELTS listening section, let's look at the importance of this section. Listening is an important part of life and also an important communication skill. Not only does it indicate a person's ability to receive and interpret information in the communication process, but without active listening skills, you won't be able to receive and interpret the message. In an academic environment, it's especially important to practice this skill. The questions on the IELTS listening exam will test your ability to understand the following. The main ideas and detailed factual information, the opinions and attitudes of the speakers, the purpose of an utterance, here utterance being a way to express your ideas or feelings in spoken words, and the ability to follow the development of ideas. The listening section is a section where you can score well, and if you'd like to, keep these points and reminders in mind while you're practicing and preparing. Remember, you will only hear the recording once. While it's listening, you won't be able to pause, rewind, or fast forward, so it's really important to pay close attention when you hear the audio so that you don't miss out on any answers. To make things a little easier, the answers usually come in order, but at the same time, the sections get more difficult as the test progresses. You should also be sure about which type of test you wanna take in terms of paper-based or computer-based, as transfer time only relates to the paper-based test. If you decide to take the computer-based test, then you will only have two minutes at the end to check through. During the listening section, you could hear a range of accents, from American to British to Australian, etc. So when you're preparing, listen to different accents so that your ears get accustomed to them. You can also choose which spelling you'd like to use, as there are some differences between American and British spellings. Now, since there is no pausing, repetition, or rewinding during the exam, you will need to multitask, and here, that means you will have to listen for the answers and write or note them down at the same time. A good thing to remember is that if you don't know the answer, take a guess. Also, you can write your answers in either lowercase or uppercase. Another important thing to note is that if you're taking the paper-based IELTS for the listening section, all of your answers need to be written in pencil. And last but not least, spelling is important. Even though you have the right idea but the spelling is wrong, your answer will be marked incorrect. Those are some reminders and a few tips. Let's just look at some more tips while you prepare for the listening exam. Some of them are repeated, but they are just as important. I'll go through the others. Be attentive and be on the lookout for plural words. 
This is important because if you write an answer in the singular form when it's supposed to be pluralized, then you will lose a mark. During the exam, it's quite easy to get distracted and zone out. So try to maintain your focus. The exam lasts for 30 minutes, so keep pushing to the end. Make sure your time management skills are on point. Before the audio plays, you'll get at least 30 seconds to a minute. During this time, you can go through the questions and see what you have to listen out for. Also, it's really, really important to read the instructions very carefully, especially when the instructions ask you to write no more than one or two words. And finally, let's look at some skills you can develop in order to increase your IELTS listening score. You can develop skills for each question type. If you find your own strategy of answering the different types of questions that differ from the ones others say, you can definitely go ahead with that. Find strategies that suit you best. Paraphrasing appears quite often in the IELTS exam, and the listening section is one of those places where you can find it. So it's quite an important skill to develop. Your vocabulary skills are another type of skill that's worth developing. And last but not least, develop your prediction skills as this will help you listen out for the answers quicker and better. And what better way to develop these skills than practice, practice, practice. And there we have it, all about the IELTS listening section. We've come to the end of the lesson, so let's do a quick recap of what we learned. We covered an introduction to the IELTS listening section, the assessment criteria and scoring, the importance of the IELTS listening section, top tips and reminders for the listening section, and skills to develop for this section. Join me for the next lesson where we'll be going through the different question types that you'll face in the IELTS listening section. See you then.